Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer, out on another exploration and I'm back in Kent. I've come to see Adrian Lidget, who we have made some videos before. He's a farmer in Kent. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Richard. Nice to see you again. Yes, and you. The lovely Julia is uh, joining us. Hello, Julia. Hello. And we are standing in a very grass um, laden uh, churchyard, which is very nice. Yes, indeed. Where yeah. are we? We're in High Horden, which is um, quite near to Biddenden. As you know, Biddenden's a lovely little village. It's a lovely and little village. It's a lovely little village. And High Horden isn't bad either. <laughs> <laughs> Second best, but there we go. And we're outside St Mary's Church, which is a approximately 13th century um, oak built church with um, obviously Victorian additions, I should imagine. What's interesting is that you said the word oak built um, because very few churches these days uh, contain wood other than perhaps the odd wooden well, tower. Yeah, yeah, quite frequently they're, they're stone and yeah. they, you've, you have wood in them. Yes, in exactly. But, Shall um, we have a wander around to it? Yes, why not? I have to say I do enjoy looking at the uh, graveyards when they're in full, um, allowed to go wild yeah. rather yeah. than totally trimmed. Yeah, well they're not, uh, not manicured. No, exactly. And mm. is that is that typical in this area? No, I think it's just the the particular church. A lot of them are are hugely manicured to within an inch of their life, so yes. to speak, um, which is a shame, really, because you know the natural thing is to have it like this. I guess it depends on the age of the graves, because if it's too overgrown, mm. uh, people can't access the uh, gravestones to pay their respects yeah, to that's, their that's relations. A lot of a lot of these graves are quite old. Um, in fact, it's so difficult to read what's on them now. Yes, but uh, we're, we're fast approaching the actual church, which is very unique. Did you say that it was about 50 tons of oak? Yes, that's right. Uh, used um, to lo local oak, yes. Used um, to produce the, just just the tower alone. Yeah, yeah. And we've got this oak here in great big um, sl uh, planks of it, I suppose, going upright. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got, I guess that's. Kentish clay um, tiles above us, and That's then right. I just step down here a bit. You'll see up there above me those um, ashlar shingles, shingles yeah. that are covering the whole the whole tower and the steeple. And straight into this rather amazing lobby area, where immediately. We're right underneath the bell tower. And we've got the lovely coloured sally ropes here, or the sallies on the rope. Six bells, you've got some info about the bells, haven't you? Yeah, um, all, um, all made in the early 14th century. 16th. 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 Yeah, that's the yeah. yeah, so, <clears throat> and going up to something like 13 tons, I think, uh, 100, 100 weight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the walls around here, we've got uh, the Lord's Prayer and also the Ten Commandments. Let's go into the main uh, nave. And suddenly we now move, he says, stepping very carefully down into the stone part of the church, the stone built part with these lovely pews and the arches to the aisle on, the, on my right, which must be the south. And what a difference this is. Yes. From the, from the wooden bit, I mean, you, you do, sort of feel like you're stepping from one bit of history yeah, to well, another. Yeah, we're coming bit of down on a different level as well. That's, um, but presumably there was a church earlier than the uh, 13th century. I would here. think so, yeah. I, I believe probably about the 10th century was the first um, the first church built here. But yeah. it's, obviously it's, it's not recorded and, you know, difficult to, to, to place it in history. But it's thought that it's from about the 10th century. You've got these lovely stained glass windows just beside me with St George, the resurrection of life and St Mary. That does look, they do look rather effeminate. <laughs> the characters up there, they don't look terribly manly, but maybe it's because they're young. Well, and that, that's what they were meant to look like, wasn't it? They I guess that's Young true. and uh, virile and, you know, all full of the um, Georgia Spring sort of thing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think sometimes we forget how young people were well, actually, because the they most, died. most of these, these characters would have been quite old. Um, 
you know, when they, they were dressed like this because, you know, they, they have to be quite rich. Right. Um, to afford all the, out, the armor and the gold swords and all this sort of thing. And uh, so they would be quite rich. So but they would it, also have been quite vain. But they, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely they'd, they'd vain. Like, yeah. They'd like to be portrayed as, as young and beautiful. Yes. I like me. That's, that's <laughs> absolutely. We, we can't all measure up yeah, to you, unfortunately, no, well, yeah. Adrian. Now, Julia, you found an interesting little thing on this side of the church, I didn't did. you? I did. It's called a squint to allow people in this to see the vicar or priest down this little... At the altar. And there is a fine figure of a man right down the far end with his thumbs up. <laughs> and actually, when you come outside, it's not a particularly sunny day, but suddenly the glare and the brightness gets you, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. What's the um, village like at High Halden? Um, it's quite an old village. Um, the the pub called the Checkers used to be um, in times gone past favourite haunt of smugglers. Oh right. Um, the Hawkehurst gang and oh, those gosh. sort of people. I think I read actually that the Hawkehurst gang had hidden stuff in the church. Yeah, probably. As indeed they did they with a little bit of bribery wherever they could. I think. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. let's, let's have a wander around this side of this rather remarkable building. One of the things that uh, Julia and mm. notices almost immediately in churchyards is of course the, the number and quality of the yew trees, this <laughs> rather lovely one here, yeah. with graves hidden almost yeah. underneath. And then you get to see this strange mixture of masonry and carpentry here, which is just quite staggering, and the, and the quality of the brick work and the stone and then here this renovated porch I think this was renovated in the 60s wasn't it yeah, this porch was restored in memory of Leslie Gordon Skay Ski church warden 1960 to 65 and there's a door with no handle <laughs> so you can't get in here and then a little what looks like a piscina which is normally inside for washing your hands so maybe when people came in there to wash their hands or perhaps it was in the old days i believe they used to conduct weddings by the south door that's just suddenly come back mm. to me and maybe a bapti bapti baptisms we've moved away from the church to the far end here of um, the the churchyard here and um, adrian you want me to go through this little yep little area which I have to say is very lovely and we come out what looks like into a rather beautiful meadow there's a little oak sapling here doing very well and some brambles and bits and bobs and then this uh, another joyous meadow if I just walk a little bit into it no doubt full of grasshoppers and crickets and goodness knows what so why have you brought me out here? Well, this lovely meadow yes. is earmarked for housing. Oh gosh, um, really? To, it's called Church Field, and obviously due to its proximity to the church. Is it the old Glebe um, Field or anything like that? Well, it was probably something like that. The Queen, yeah, yeah. the farmer. But um, yes, they're proposing building 26 new properties here. Right. Um, so what? So that village, you know, people who live in the village can afford, I suppose, well, to live. Well, pe people who live in the village won't be able to afford them. Oh right. Because <laughs> they'll, they'll be sort of four and five bedroom houses, I should imagine, oh. as, as they usually are. So, so commuters. Be commuters, yeah. People outside. Which of... is a great shame. It's a lovely spot to have a house, but it's spoiling the whole aspect of the church. Yes, I imagine um, if you had one house here. It wouldn't ruin very much. No. 26? No. 26. Not so good. What have you got there? Oh, oh she's got a little grasshopper. Little grasshopper. <laughs> but what a shame to build on this rather beautiful field with this incredible aspect and, and hinging right up against the church yeah, and the village. Right, yeah. Because it's not just the houses, presumably there's roads. There'll be roads. Um, the infrastructure. Okay, there'll be, you know, areas for kids to play in and this sort of thing which is all good stuff but in the right place yeah this is not the right place 
um, and there's a lot of bad feeling in the village about it. So presumably there's a, a protest. And yes, that, yeah. yeah. There's signs all over the village saying no to no to building on church fields. So. And what do you think the chances are of it happening? Watch this 50, space. 50, 50, 50 right. Yeah. It's, it's a, you know, the government says that we must have more houses and they don't really worry about where they put them. No, well, yeah. I mean, you only it's, have to travel about <clears throat> not very much these days and you pass many old fields that have been yeah. transformed yeah. into <clears throat> carbon <clears throat> copies of every other estate you've ever yeah. seen. The unfortunate thing about High Halden is that there is no infrastructure as such. We've got one small shop which contains a post office, one pub, and that's it. Doctor surgery? No doctor surgery. No schools. Uh, no. Well, yeah, we've got one no infant school and uh, junior school, but that's only small. Yeah. Probably won't cope with the extra influx of people. And this, of course, I suppose, could be the tip of the iceberg once Absolutely. you've done it once. Well, there's, there's already development going on down the road of um, 26 houses, I believe. Um, so that's you know, that's, this is on top of that. Well, thank you so much, Adrian, for bringing us to have a look at You're the church, welcome. and then also to to sadly take in one of the problems that you have here that other yeah. people have also yeah. be sharing in the plight elsewhere. Um, it's, a, it's a sorrowful thing. However, that's very kind of you to, to bring us in. Yes, thank, thank you, you for, for showing us the church. Thank, was, you uh, for, thank you for coming. It's been, uh, been well worth um, the trip out, I think. Well, don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, uh, support what we do. Leave a comment. Be interested if you're in a similar situation with buildings that butt right up against your locality, your little rural idyll. If that's being shattered, do let us know. Uh, in the meantime, from High Holden in Kent, in a field that may not be here for much longer, from us, goodbye. Bye. Bye.